I can actually fit my face through this hole. We're off to do some shopping. We're off to break. Well, how are we going to have Come on, come on, Trey. Absolutely, Simon. Welcome to Canada Patrick Park Commentary, my friend. Oh, it's much nicer than vodka. what is up everyone welcome to my channel so i thought i would go ahead and start another vlog it's my first vlog since america and i figured i should probably start one the lighting today is absolutely crazy this is like easter weekend which is so bad because i know this video is not going to go out for a while like my last american tour i finished it with pancake cheese day that was february and i haven't even put it out yet and it's like april so because I just have so much content. So I'm kind of exposing myself a little bit, but I figure as long as I film it, it doesn't matter when it comes out because I just want to make sure you guys get that content. So it is like the sunniest day ever. And I'm 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 inside, of course. Danny's actually at shows today. Literally since I've been back from America, he's been doing a million and one shows. And so I'm just constantly on my own and I lost my keys to my apartment. So I can't leave my apartment. Otherwise I will not get back in. So <laughs> that's really cool. Basically I've done like a tiny bit of decorating. The apartment is in the process of being like rejigged, even though we're moving out in like five months. Um, so I did a little bit of decorating. I also got some fan gifts. I don't know how this is gonna show up on camera, but I got some cute fan gifts. And I'm in the process of basically just like trying to finish my apartment, I guess. I wanted to go ahead and start another vlog because I have done a little bit of shopping. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got. And then also this week I'm going to London with Catherine and my mom. Last time I went there, I vlogged it. I had too much Pinot Grigio and um, it was an experience. I spent so much money. I feel like I went through a phase on that bit where we were finishing lockdown where I kept going to London eating and drinking first because food is my number one food is my number one priority and then i would go shopping and be like Woohoo! so um, i'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen and then i am going to kamikaze and then i'm actually traveling to germany to make my german debut which is very exciting i mean i just don't feel like i can film here like i need to find like a different place to just like position myself so I didn't get to show you guys, but I was actually in the news and front page baby. So I'm gonna get this framed because how fucking cool is that? I moved myself into the corner of the room. I'm kind of hoping the lighting is a little bit better. I'm sort of not in it. Oh, that's a bit wonky. I'm actually using a box with Danny's whiskey table on it that I got him for Christmas and he has not set up. So love that for me. So I actually did a few orders. I've recently launched my brand army. So if you guys are not subscribed to that, go and check it out. It's basically my fan club and it's where I post like a ton of exclusive content because I make so much content from pictures to videos to little short videos. I have so much and I wanted to kind of make something for the super fans, for the people who are super dedicated to me for them to kind of celebrate it. And part of that is photo shoots. So I have been grabbing stuff for my Instagram and for my brand army from Dolls Kill, which I absolutely just have a fixation with and I'm ready to spend all of my money on it. So the first thing that I got is this little skirt. Look at the bows, I could vomit. In fact, I might, I might. It's just super cute and it goes with this top, which is stunning, beautiful, amazing, glamour, unreal. So it's very royal too, which is perfect for me. So it is this little corset style top. I just love it. I love the bows. I love the detailing. And I love the pastel blue color. Obviously you guys know I have like a ridiculous unhealthy obsession with the color pink. However, pastel colors, I would just melt. I love having pastel wrestling gear. Like I debuted a ton of new gear in America. Which, by the way, all the signed pictures are available on my shop, which I'll pop on screen. And pastel is great, but the only problem is it gets dirty, especially with wrestling, like the other girl's makeup and the ring is so nasty. Nothing vanish can't fix. And then the next thing that I got is this little skirt. This was only a little order from Dolls Curl, hence why I didn't do like a whole individual haul video. Like I did a huge haul from there. Where I got like a ton of just crazy stuff, like furniture, entrance pieces, everything. This I just grabbed like a few little bits 
And then I just got this little skirt and it really reminds me of me and Zoe the Dream Dolls because our thing is literally bows and love hearts. Because we have the little like heart buckles and stuff on our gear. So it was just so perfect. I loved it so much. And of course it's pink, so... The only thing that could make it better was like a little bit of lilac on it. All I got from Dolls Kill. However, this time I did get a customs charge. So last time when I ordered, I literally ordered a box like almost the size of me because it had so much stuff in it. It had shoes in it. It had like a huge skirt, like entrance piece in it. It had like a little bit of furniture in it. It had some clothes in it. And I didn't get a customs charge, whereas this time I did. So I don't know if like it being a smaller parcel, it maybe went with a different courier. I don't know. But the custom charge was more than the actual stuff. The stuff was actually super cheap. It was in the sale and I just grabbed it. I mean, I would have grabbed it at any price and it just happened to be on sale. So I was like, yay. And then the custom charge was actually more than the entire order. So I just did a little order from Opoly. Opoly have me in a chokehold. They've had me in a chokehold for several years. I won't even front about it. If you guys know me, you've been on my channel, you'll know I'm obsessed. And they've just been releasing the most gorgeous collections. I actually wore... They had this recent collection out, it was so nice. It was like blush with pearls on it. I actually wore a two piece from there to a premiere and I bought like a bunch of different bits for America because it was just unreal. And they recently released like a couple of new collections that I'm just like, I will spend every bit of money I have. If I can't pay rent this month, I don't care. As long as I have a full wardrobe of Opoly, I don't care. I think I might do a haul from there fairly soon because there's a few bits. I normally just try to do like maybe one style of each dress but try and get a few different colors you know what i mean instead of getting like everything the opoly valentine's day collection i bought every single thing from there and was broke as fuck and mm, whoops so <laughs> i'm like trying to do this new thing now where i just get like one of like each little thing i did just grab quickly this dress which off looks very strange i know you're probably like i've literally paid money for a dress with a big hole in the middle. I can actually fit my face through this hole. It is basically just this like cut out dress. And to be fair, I ordered it when I was in America and I was shredded and I had abs. When I came back, I mean, I kind of lost my abs a little bit. They'll be back, but I lost them a little bit, but I just thought it would be super cute for a picture. And I know it does look strange off, but I loved the fact that you see back I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the front. I know I'm risking it a little bit, but I feel like you have to try different things and I'm not shy to do that. But I love things that show back. So when I was in America, I actually ended up accidentally wearing quite a lot of stuff that like kind of showed off my back. And I was like, oh, I actually really like that. I actually like my back. Um, it's like one of my best features, which is super annoying because it's just your back, but you know, Whatever. When I got back, I did actually pop to Primark and I bought a couple of bits. And my boyfriend was like, oh, look, I'm gonna have a quick look at the men's stuff. And then I ended up doing another shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I grabbed. He was also influencing me, it was very bad. So I just got this, it was three pounds. It's just this cute little like makeup brush holder with the butterfly. They had a bigger size, but it just didn't look as cute. So I'm gonna keep this. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. I'm kind of having a little thing. I'm like, do I wanna put like some hair accessories in it? Like little bobby pins. Because makeup brushes, I just have so many, I don't think this will do it. But I kind of think this will be cute for little bits and pieces. So I'm just deciding what I want to do with this, but I just grabbed it. I got this maxi dress, which I'm actually wearing tomorrow because Danny is taking me on a date. And it is literally unreal. So this was 15, which is on the expensive side for Primark. But I just, I just couldn't stop looking at it. I just love the tones of it. The feel of it is so nice. I don't know if that will really come across on camera, but it's kind of like really silky soft. I went for a size eight. I haven't tried any of this on, but I think it should fit because so far my experience with Primark has been pretty good on the size in front. I also grabbed this kind of like bleach denim, kind of almost white jeans, just because I don't have any. And there's a couple of tops where I'm like, if I had a pair of white jeans, it would really work. I don't have white jeans for the obvious reason of white jeans are a nightmare. Why on earth would anyone ever want to wear white jeans? So I think these are predominantly gonna be for like promos and photo shoots. But they are super cute, I do really like them. Only 10 pounds, so if I only wear them twice, it's not the end of the world. Oh my God, this absolute steal. So these were on sale. They were 15 pounds, they're now seven pounds. They're this like chocolatey brown, kind of like almost alligator print leather flares. On a day like today, I would be sick wearing these, but they are so cute. I mean, I just don't think like it's doing it justice but I just saw them, they really caught my eye and then they were on sale and I was just like, again, a bit of a risk, a bit different for me, but I just feel like they're so cheap. Like if you wanna try out something a bit 
eh, a bit out of your comfort zone. Primark is the best because you're not gonna break the bank. So if you don't like it that much, you don't wear it that much, it's not the end of the world. I should have taken that on board when I spent probably like 30 pounds on a dress from Opoly that's just got a hole in the middle of it. Okay, so next up I actually grabbed this little Barbie top, which is just gonna be perfect for a shoe. They didn't have any bottoms to go with it, which was a bit annoying. This was four pounds. And I literally have a lipstick that's the exact same shade, so I'm gonna wear it all together. And then I grabbed this little hoodie. I mean, this was all Danny's influence. He's like, Ryan, you know, there's like a Disney section. And then he just kept grabbing things like, oh, why don't you get this, why don't you get this? And I'm like, oh my God, don't even encourage me because I am a shopaholic, like I'll do it. So I actually went for an extra small, I believe it's kind of oversized. I just love the color of it. It's super cute and it's extremely soft. I'm just gonna try not to wash it that much because with Primark, I think when you wash them too much, they kind of lose their softness. So for this hoodie, I'm just gonna wear it like, it's not gonna be one that I'm wearing to the gym. It's the kind of thing that I might wear for like a stream or like I might just pop on for a couple of hours. Then you don't have to wash them loads. Whereas like the jumpers I wear to the gym, obviously I wash them. Even though I don't work out in them, I just like wash them straight away because I'm like, ew. They're just ruined. So I'm gonna try and like almost preserve this and just wear it a little bit. So I only have to wash it every few goes, not every single time I wear it and destroy it. <gasps> this, I died. So this is actually from the men's section, but it is this Bulls Bomber and it is literally insane. So this was on the more expensive side again. This was 30 pounds, but 30 pounds, it is so thick. I think I went for an extra small. Like I was tempted to go for like a medium and have it super oversized, but this is already gonna be big. I just think this is so sick. And I feel like with red lip and like the boot ins, I'm like, oh! love it and it, it's actually like super warm obviously it's super sunny right now so it's vile but it'll be great just like i mean it's the uk so it'll be great all year round but um i just literally saw it and it was so nice like all of their american sports stuff because they've got like a bunch of different stuff there is like what it's insane so i grabbed this from the bridal section even though i'm not a bride and um, the reason i grabbed it was for a photo shoot i just thought it was really really cute it was four pounds and it's gonna be for my brand army. I mean, it would kind of go with the maxi dress to be honest, but I just thought that was literally like unreal. Last thing that I got are these peanuts joggers. I do like the color, like I do like green. They're just kind of to chill in. Like I just feel like you can never have enough joggers. I travel quite a lot, although recently when I've been flying, I've been wearing jeans. I know it's actually sick, but they're like the mum jeans or flare jeans and they're basically like really comfy. And then I did actually pop to River Island and I probably spent the same amount in River Island as I did in Primark and I literally got three accessories. So <laughs> the first thing that I got are these rings, which I could literally die for. They're so cute. I just love butterflies. The next thing are, oh yeah, these are a little bit different, but I'm, I'm back on it. Um, what the hell have I even, these have been sat on this table. I don't understand. Okay. So next up, I got these really nice rose gold hoop earrings. I've just been kind of getting a few little bits together just because it so suits my character. It suits what I like in real life. Character and me are basically the same thing, to be honest. And then lastly, I just got these rose gold chains. I have like really cute butterfly ones from River Island too. These were 16, so definitely on the more expensive side, but I do feel like the quality of this stuff is really good. Like I got the butterfly ones from there and I also got some really nice rings from there and they haven't discolored. They don't make your hands go green, which is always a good thing. Um, and I just thought they were super cute. It's just a bit chunky, I like it. So that is everything that I got on my little haul. I am now gonna go and finish organizing my spare room and then I'm probably gonna sign some merch. So I've got like so many orders. I released so much new merch when I was in America. It's finally arrived. And I also did kiss cards too, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a little organize on my spare room, probably have something to eat as well, sign my merch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go live on Twitch. And then tomorrow, Danny is actually taking me on a date. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process. So what I do is I have up on the screen my orders. At the moment, I'm just showing you my product. I don't know why I did it with that thing. <laughs> it's so nasty. Um, at the moment, I have on products so I don't want to show anyone's personal information. But I'll have all my orders on the screen and they'll work from there. Then I have my amazing choice of Sharpies. I got like a huge pack off Amazon. Just recently actually got some new stockings. So we're going to do like a little unboxing prayer circle that I don't dox myself. But what we're going to do is actually do all of my orders for today. I have 50 which is amazing, but crazy. So I'm gonna work through all of my orders from today. I've got my little pink scissors, cause of course, of course I do. And I'll show you guys, oh my goodness me. Okay, what is 
this is the receipt. Not that exciting. Okay, let's show you guys some of the stuff. So, first up, I actually have some of the items for... Look at this. <laughs> All this merch. Okay. So first up, I actually have some of the items from the Twitch giveaway. So on my Twitch channel, if people gift 10 subs or if they gift 25, they get a bundle. And these photos are actually from when I worked with a photographer on a shoot, I think about a couple of months ago now. They're literally amazing. So these are for the giveaway winners. They're literally beautiful. Um, but I wanted something special just to reward the people on my Twitch, you know, because I just think the support is crazy. So I just wanted a way to kind of say thank you for that. Okay, so now we get into the merch that I just released. There is a lot. Um, so we have my new gear photos. These are literally insane. This is like, I think maybe my favorite gear. I actually wore it on ITV2 Deep Heat when I made my acting debut too. So it's, uh, it's pretty sentimental to me too. It's a very special place in my heart and these pictures are just glorious. They really are. Look at them. Uh, so I think that's all the rose gold. And then we get into Think Pink. So that's like my new pink crocodile line. There's quite a lot of those. And then there's like loads of different po I have quite a lot of merch. So what I'm gonna do is pack everything up for the orders and then I'm gonna organize it. At the moment it's kind of organized, but I basically wanna like organize everything, go through, stock check, fill in the website. I'm having a bit of an admin day. It's about 7.30 now. So I think this will probably take me like an hour and then I'll do a little half an hour of like kind of cleaning, organizing a little bit more. Like with regards to kind of sorting out <laughs> my room, I honestly just get like 20 minutes, 30 minutes here and there throughout the days and I'm just kind of working through it. I had got to a place where it was super organized and then I was going on holiday and it just became a bomb site. So let's get into it. I'm going to time lapse a little bit of this for you guys and uh make it happen today let's get it oh and i forgot to say i got this google home for free with spotify and this has been like a little lifesaver for me because i just play my music and i clean my room i do my merch i do my work and it's great <laughs> What is up everyone? So it's Thursday today and I'm just about to head off to London. Can't talk for long because as per usual, you guys are running late. I kind of look pasty. I am actually redoing my turn tonight. Hence the fact I'm literally covered up because <laughs> I'm so pale. But I'm rocking the hat actually. Danny says I look like I'm hiding from the paparazzi and I'm like, true. So I'm wearing my best American doll look. Let's go. I didn't even get a selfie, mate. I didn't even get a selfie. I'm that rushed. Here is the babe. Mm, doing our outfits of the day. Tell me where you slide to. When the life gets high, who you try when the rent do. Tell me who you ride to. When your chips get low, who you drive to, cry to. Tell me where the base at. Where the folks with the bag with the cash in the case at. Tell me where the wealth at. I'ma try to sell that. Tell me cause I want it, want it back. I mean, we call it vlogging. We just had a really good lunch, wasn't it yummy? Mm -hmm. Someone didn't eat the uh, coconut prawn. Well, I was full, but I had to finish off someone's rosé. We're off to do some shopping. We're off to break. Well, I would have done it, but it was awesome. What is up everyone? So it is now Friday and I'm heading off to a kamikaze. Yesterday was super fun when I got in. I literally was so tired. I don't think I actually vlogged on Thursday, no, Wednesday night. I'm a mess. I don't think I vlogged on Wednesday night, but on Wednesday night I literally got 
three hours sleep. By the time I finished with work and I packed, I literally went to bed at like 2, 3 a.m. and we got up at six to travel here. And then I went to London with my family, which was super fun. Obviously, you guys did get to see that. I, of course, vlogged that because that was fun. The packing wasn't so fun. So today I have literally just, I've redone all my tan. I've just been sitting down, so I've probably got like, the marks from the trousers but i just literally blow dried my hair i am gonna curl it but i'm gonna curl it when i get there i'd rather like be there and then curl it worst case scenario i could always rest with it like a lion's mane i have brought my straighteners in case i don't get time to curl it i should but the traffic on a friday can be crazy so we're gonna go to nando's now and grab some food just because it's really important to eat on show days so we go to nando's grab some food i have just done my makeup all i need to do now is put on some lashes and put on some lip gloss but basically i did my kiss cards earlier and i I wiped off because it was like bright pink but I feel like you can still see it I don't know I feel like it still looks really like it kind of looks like a lip tint now which is I don't know it works but yeah so we're gonna go head off grab some food and then when I get there I should get there with plenty of time to get ready stretch warm up all that good stuff obviously traffic on a Friday is crazy so I've given myself extra time so we'll see how we go and then I have a bit of a crazy evening tonight because I'm gonna literally get back so late and then I have to be up at 5 or 6 a.m I need to triple check but I think I need to be up at 5 or 6 a.m and I also need to swap all of my stuff so it fits into like a little carry-on bag and when I get to the airport we're all sharing like a little case and oh my god so I need to make sure like I organize that properly and things like that so we're gonna have a very sleepy Mariah but I'm very excited for the weekend ahead I think these are my first shows since going back from America so it's very exciting I'm just wearing a little bow and tee two-piece I've got the little sports bra on and then just my match top this, this look, at, look at this lovely assortment I have here I'm just gonna pop on a hoodie I've got my little handbag to take with me just put my camera and stuff in this is my gear bag for today because obviously i'm going to germany i didn't bother with my whole gear case and then i just did my kiss cards this morning to take with me and i've got my merch and my little sparkly bum <laughs> I went super healthy, I want to cry, I want wings, I want flies, I want very very chips, but no, I'm having a tomato. So we just quickly stopped at the services and the WH Smith actually had the best snacks. So it's got this M&M's chocolate protein, which I've never tried. So I'll let you know, guys know how that is. It has battle bites, which actually are so good. I don't think I've had red velvet before. There was a flavor I absolutely loved and I don't think it was red velvet. It was definitely something uh, though. Jam donut. Jam donut. Cause I don't particularly like super, super chocolatey protein, which is why I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. And then I also got this big flapjack. Again, I don't think I've had mixed berry, but I've definitely had the muscle mousse flapjacks before. The reason I got three is because I probably have one at the show later when I'm hungry, and then one for after, and then one for the morning tomorrow because I have a super early flight. So I just got these snacks. Also, I don't really feel like I could do it justice, but this is like the nicest services I've ever been to, and it's actually a really nice day today. Mariah! Woo! Casey's here! Hi! Come on, commentary. Absolutely, Simon. Welcome to Canada Party Pro Commentary, my friend. Am I and one part of Northwest Strong, Rio. Which we're not even being in the ring at one point. Absolutely, at the moment, Rio dominating the Rio. May getting that pump kick in the corner, knocking Zaya Brookside down. And this is the speed and technicality we see from the Rio May. Goodness me, the rotation after rotation, head scissor. Look out! Takes out everyone. Mariah's make a cover though, she wants to get the win here, she's got to make a cover. Yep, you've got to count. Influence from Northwest, kick jumping. Sarah, Fisher was neck breaker, that was gorgeous. Go for the knee, could we see another one for Mariah May? Countered. Mariah again goes to...
Okay, so it's super late. I just got home from Kamikaze, but I wanted to quickly show you guys these amazing gifts. So these were from James. I've got my little hat and it's actually reversible. And then I have my little baby Evie, which I love so much. And then James got me the Mariah. I can't say this Pokemon's name. Danny, how do you say it? Uh, unknown? Unknown? Which one? These. Oh, unknown, yeah. Oh, why do I think it didn't have a K in it? It doesn't, it's not it, but it's pronounced unknown. Unknown, okay. I think Casey got the M, but James got the Araya. <laughs> yeah. And then Casey's surprise at the show, which was that she has made like my week. And she got me this little Princess Peach, which is so cute. And then this Winnie the Pooh mug set, which I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. I didn't realise it's the inside joke about Fleur. If you're on my Twitch stream, she'll get it. Those that get it, get it. Those that don't, don't. And then she also got me these lucky charms, which I'm gonna eat when I get back from Germany. It's a little treat, but thank you so much. How sweet. Well, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to quickly show you my outfit before we head off because I think it's so funny. It's actually strappy on the back and then it's strappy on the front. You hit me up, but I'm gonna call you back. I know that you're missing what you never really had. You just do you and I'm gonna do me. So I am just backstage. I found a little corner. Done the phase. I'd like to curl my hair if I can, but it's kind of wavy right now, which is super cute. So I'm gonna get ready. I think we're on after the intervals. The show's gonna start in like 20. This is very exciting. And Germany is really cool so far. Like obviously I haven't seen too much because we pretty much our flight was delayed. We got off the plane, went to a supermarket, which was super different from ours, but really cool. And I saw loads of candy. No, I just say candy, sweets, chocolate uh, that I wanted to try, but obviously I'm wrestling so I can't. So I was like, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, I'm very, very excited. It's gonna be very cool. It's my first time in Germany as well. I don't know if I've said that in the vlog, but this is my first time ever visiting Germany, I believe. So it's not just my first time wrestling, it's my first time being here. Everyone is so nice, and I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm now trying, okay. That's actually really nice. I don't like beer from like normally, but that's really nice. Oh my God. So this is the Greek version of vodka. I'm just gonna shot it in one. Oh, it's much nicer than vodka. So I guess obligatory room tour. It looks smaller than what it is. It's actually really nice. I mean, I'm only gonna be here for literally five hours but it's this really cute hotel there's also like a crazy after party but um yeah you've got this little area here i probably won't even bother with the tv time and actually go straight to bed in a single bed i haven't been in a single bed for ages there's the lounge area there's i don't even know what my stuff is um i guess oh there is a shower i mean could be cute to to shower that would be nice so i'm definitely gonna shower uh i got this cute little mirror here i got the biggest room um, so I think we're gonna shower and then go to bed. We're at the German McDonald's and their desserts menu is crazy. I'm home, I'm back in the UK. I had the most amazing time in Germany. It was so beautiful. I kind of wish I was there for a little bit longer than just like, I guess, almost a whole day, not quite. But it was so amazing. Obviously your girl, she won. It was just such an amazing experience to get to wrestle again in a different country. This year has been amazing so far for me, getting to wrestle in America and now Germany. And in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be wrestling in Italy, which of course I will vlog, so subscribe. But it's just crazy. Cause like before the pandemic, I had some of these countries booked in and it was really my goal to kind of just explore the world wrestling. What an amazing thing to do. And 
after the pandemic, you know, it was still slow with everything reopening because everywhere is different, everywhere is affected differently. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do that, but this weekend was a true dream for me and I'm just so happy and so grateful. Thank you so much to everyone for all the support. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because I never know these vlogs if they're dangerously long or not. I normally vlog basically week by week and I just don't know if they're gonna be like an hour long, which <laughs> I don't know if you guys prefer that or if you like the short ones, let me know. But speaking of short videos, if you do like them, go and check out my TikTok, Mariah May X. It's been popping off on there a little bit. I've been posting some wrestling stuff. I'm trying, look, I'm trying to keep up with the kids. I'm trying my best. And also don't forget, I have got my kiss cards out on mariahmay.bigcartel.com. They have been a hit. Who would have thought I'm gonna get a paper cut from kissing the paper, but you know what? I do it for you. All right, guys, I'm gonna close this here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought, all that good stuff, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye! Sometimes I'm not sure what to